is Art Attack. <laughs> And welcome once again to Art Attack, the big art show. Well, it's great to be back here. And have I got some treats in store for you. Now, you know how I like sloshing colour around? Well, I've discovered some great ways of making some very colourful pictures by moving paint. Just squeeze some ready-mix poster paint into a dollop that's just a bit bigger than a 2P piece. And then take another colour and just squeeze a ring like that around the first colour. And then take a third colour and squeeze another ring just on the outside of that. And then take another piece of paper, the same size as your first piece, only it can be a different colour, and carefully line it up and lay it on the top like that. Now, if you take your finger, you can just feel the paint squidging around in between those two pieces of paper. Then lay your finger flat on the top piece and just move the paint inside the two pieces of paper. Just squeeze it along and you can actually feel it squidging under your fingers. Just move it all the way round like that in a sort of star shape. Just keep it moving. And then when you peel back the top piece, if you've used two different coloured pieces of paper, you get two very different pictures. Another way to move paint even further is to mix it with a little bit of water. Now, again, I've got some ready-mix poster paint here, and I've mixed it with just a little bit of water, but it's a case of experimenting to get the right consistency. And just pour out some blobs of the mixture onto some card or stiff paper, and make the blobs roughly about six centimetres apart from each other. And this in itself is great fun to do, just pouring it out onto the card there. So, just move those to one side, and when you're ready, grab hold of the card and move some paint. And just before it hits the bottom, move it to the side, and again, over to the other side. And you just sort of judge when you want to turn the card. And there you have a fantastic motion picture. Lay it down flat to dry, and there it is. Try it yourself, move some paint, and give yourself an art attack. Well, hey! Oh, that's a great effect, is that? Hello. Yes, you've guessed it. It's me, the head. Now, if you're going to do pictures like that, make sure you put newspaper down first, because it could be very messy. Hey, I know another way of moving paint around. Put it on a train! <laughs>
didn't he do well? A picture of himself shopping made out of shopping. I've done a picture out of shopping. I have too. Do you want to see it? <laughs> it's called Can of Soup! <laughs> Do you know one thing that really drives me mad? This stuff, sticky back plastic. I can never find a good use for it. And even when I do use it, I always get into a terrible mess. Well, now I think I've cracked it. Take a look at this. Take a piece of paper, any size you like, and cut a piece of sticky back plastic, still with the backing on, so that it's roughly one centimetre wider than your paper on all edges. Then remove your paper, turn your sticky back plastic shiny side up, and I've discovered you can draw on it using a permanent marker. Now it has to be a permanent marker, otherwise it will just rub off. And just draw a rough picture, anything you like. I'm just gonna draw a very rough picture here of some fruit. Draw an orange in there. Uh, I think we'll have a lemon in this corner. Now again, it's not perfection we're looking for here. It's a style, so I think I'll do some stylized bananas there. One there, and maybe one coming round here, like that. And maybe in this corner, some grapes. Just a very small bunch of grapes there. And dominating right in the middle here, with some knobbly flesh, a pineapple. And I'll just draw all those marks it has on its flesh there. It's like a pattern, isn't it? Again, just doing a very rough picture. I think just to balance the picture up, I'll put two cherries in the corner. When you've done your picture, just peel back one of the corners here, and this is where we get our own back on sticky back plastic. Turn it over, now shiny side down, hold it onto a flat surface, and then slowly peel back the backing. And with a bit of luck, yep, the sticky back plastic sucks itself to the flat surface, and there it is. Now look, don't let the sticky back plastic get you at this stage, because it's sticky side up now. I'm going to colour it in using scrap paper, coloured newspaper or magazines, or even tissue paper. Now let's see, I have some green there for the apple. And again, you don't have to colour it in perfectly, I'm just going to do that corner in there because it's a style I'm looking for. I'll put the orange in there, I think, for the orange. And then that for the lemon. And let's see, I want a nice bendy bit for the banana. Maybe that up there. That's probably better for it, isn't it? And you've got a little gap down there, so just cover all the gaps. Your coloured paper. A bit in the back there. The pineapple, the pineapple stalk there, and this fabulous sort of purple colour for the grapes, and two little bits of red for the cherries. Just being careful all the time not to pick up the sticky back plastic. Then put your original piece of paper back in place very carefully. It could still go dreadfully wrong at this stage. And then just carefully fold up any excess sticky back plastic onto the back. Down one edge. Down the other edge. All the way around. I think we've cracked it. There it is, a sticky back plastic picture. At last, a real use for sticky back plastic. Try it yourself. An original art attack with an original style. Woo! -hoo! At last, a great use for sticky back plastic. Just two things to remember. First, when you're peeling off the backing, lay it on something flat. Second, make sure you draw on the non-sticky side, otherwise you could end up like this. <laughs>
My name's Laura. I chose a picture from a comic with a bold and colourful design. My name's Jane. I continued the colours from my picture using paint. These colours created my own design. My name's Helen. Using different materials, I extended the lines and colours. Ah, now that's a good art attack from Maidstone Girls Grammar School. Extend the picture to create a pattern. Now all you have to do is cut or tear part of a colour picture. But the bit that you choose needs to have lots of different colours in it. That's good because it's got lots of bright colours in it. Comics are also a good source because again you've got the bright pinks and the blues and the oranges there. This is not so good because really it's only got one, maybe two colours in. You've got the dark blue and that sort of dingy brown in there. Only two on that so I'm not going to pick that one. In fact, I think I'll go back to this silly face. What I do is just turn it over, put a spot of glue on the back, just carefully try not to crease it too much, and then just thump it into position. And you don't have to be neat, it doesn't have to be dead centre, because what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to look for all the colours that come out to the edge of the photograph, and then I'm going to extend them to the edge of my picture. So there goes the red, right up to the edge there, Next, I think I'll go for one of these blues here. Now, it doesn't have to be a straight line to the edge, so I'm going to just curl it like that. Curvy line right into the corner there. And next, I think I'll go for one of these oranges. Just go from one point there. It doesn't have to go right to the edge of your picture. Back to the second point. And you can also draw some blobs in there. And if you go all the way around your torn or your cut picture and you extend the colours right to the edge and then you colour in all the blobs when you're finished you'll have something that looks like this of course you could always try extending an object place the object into the middle of your paper and extend the colours onto your paper here i go Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Mm. Oh. Try it yourself, an extended picture attack, and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra!